Whenever I wear lip gloss, I always feel like it's like on my teeth. So I'm constantly like looking just to make sure. Check, check, be good. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all of the products that really impressed me, that I was really loving, that I was all about during the month of uh, May, is it May? Yeah, like we're already in June, like, Holy shit. Anyway, we have tons of products that I want to get through today. The only thing I want to mention before we jump straight into the video is that my allergies have been acting up like crazy right now. And I did just get over being sick, so you can still hear me like all nasally and gross and kind of disgusting. But I'm feeling better. So we had time today and we were going to film. Let's jump straight into the first product. Alright, so the first product is more of like a skincare nighttime item. This is from Sephora. This is the Sephora Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. And you get 25 of them in this little pack and I think this pack is like $7.99, $8 or something like that. I bought these mostly just to have as like a cleaning wipe. So like if I'm doing swatches and stuff or like if I want to carry some in my purse. Ran out of my makeup remover wipes like five days ago and so I picked this one up because it was like a wet cloth and I put my cellar cleansing water that I've used like pretty much since I mentioned it to you guys last year to take off my makeup and holy cow my entire face of makeup came off with one wipe. It was so soft on my skin it didn't leave a greasy feeling, it didn't leave it like wet feeling, it didn't leave it feeling like clogged or anything like that and the smell of coconut lingered a little bit. I was actually blown away how well this works to take off your makeup. I also wear contacts, so I have a little bit, a little bit of sensitive eyes around my eyes, like if I'm putting on makeup there or if I'm taking something off, but it starts to bother me a little bit and not with these. These literally took off everything instantly. It smelled great like coconut, and like I said, it didn't irritate my eyes, so I was really impressed with these. I highly recommend you pick these up if you guys are looking for a different makeup remover wipe or if you guys are just looking for a, like, a cleansing cloth, I highly recommend these. All right, and I have one more bath-like item to talk to you guys about. And I swear to you, when I first heard about this product, I was like, that's such a joke. I would never spend money on that. And here I am about to tell you how much I love this product. This is from Sol de Janeiro, and this is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is the smaller, like, sample size version of it. And like I said, when I first heard about this product and people were raving about it, I was like, that's stupid. I'm not going to spend 20 plus dollars on a cream for my butt. It just didn't make any sense to me. And we were at Sephora with my friend Sambo, and she was telling me, like, have you tried this? I heard it's really good. Like, it's supposed to get rid of cellulite. It's supposed to, like, just make your butt look really nice and round. And I don't know which one of those words kind of just like clicked it for me, but I ended up picking it up and I was like, all right, just toss it in the bag. I like want to give it a go, you know? And I've been using this for about three weeks now and holy cannoli, this thing actually works. I do have to throw out there that I don't think it's like, bam, it's instantly gonna get rid of your cellulite. Like you have to change your diet and exercise and in conjunction with this in order to really get rid of cellulite for good. And I haven't noticed like a huge drastic difference in my cellulite. We all have cellulite down there. Don't even deny it. But the thing that really kind of got me about this product was that I have noticed, and this is kind of like TMI, but I have noticed that my ass is just looking a lot nicer. I've noticed that my butt cheeks just look a lot more like smoother, rounder, plumper, nicer, like not discolored or anything like that. And I still got a big ass, but it's looking like a nicer big ass. All I'm saying is that this thing smells amazing and my butt is looking a lot nicer and I ain't even mad at it. Okay? Alright, so let's move on to face products. I have one foundation to talk to you guys about. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. And I just want to throw it out there that this is one of those products that it's kind of like a luxury buy. I don't think you absolutely 100% need this in your makeup collection, but I've really been liking it since I purchased it. Like really luxe looking and it comes with like a little bit of a dropper. I kind of like that because then I don't have to get like my hands dirty, I just like plop it on my skin. And I'm only using this on me, it's not like I freelance with it, so it's okay about like being hygienic and stuff. It gives a really good amount of coverage on your skin and it makes your skin look smooth. It's not one of those really thick, creamy-ish foundations that's gonna give you full coverage, but then it's gonna make it look cakey or scaly or just like you're wearing tons of layers of makeup. This literally feels like a pure pigment that goes on your skin and that's why you get such good coverage and that's why it's kind of like a smooth canvas on your skin. So I really like that effect. The only thing about this foundation for me personally is that I didn't really like the way it blended out with like a makeup sponge. I don't know, the way it blends out is weird. The water and like your sponge just not really like blend out properly. My favorite 
way to apply this foundation is with a flat top kabuki or like a more denser kind of foundation brush, whatever brush you use. I think a brush like that is a little bit better with this specific product because it's so concentrated than like a makeup sponge would be. And if you have oily skin, I do think this would be a good alternative because like I said, it's going to give you that full coverage, but it's not going to weigh down your skin and it leaves it more of like a matte finish. So I didn't really notice any oils like, seeping through throughout the day. These next so. two products I used before I apply my foundation. This one is a new makeup brand to me and something new to me. This is from Temptu and BoxyCharm. I got this in my BoxyCharm subscription. And and this is the liquid glow it's a really nice color it just comes in like this little bottle um, and when you apply it on it's very liquidy but it's kind of like a goldish kind of shade and when you blend it out it looks just like this if you really blend it out it just leaves your skin kind of like a really nice glow it's more of like a sheen it's not one of those like reflective metallic kind of glows it's just a, like a nice healthy kind of color to the skin and what I've been doing with this is I've been applying this to my skin so I'll just add like one or two drops here one or two drops here and then one or two drops on my forehead avoiding like the t-zone that's the area that gets oily for me personally so I'll do it on like the parameters of my face that tend to be a little bit more dry or that uh, don't really get as much oil throughout today and I've been really loving it this kind of just adds that like life back to my skin I feel like this has really been helping with that because like I said it adds a little bit of a shine to your skin without it being dewy or glowy or over the top so I can't handle any of those like really luminous primers but this one like I said just adds a nice amount of color to the skin and I've just been really liking it and then to prime my face I've really been reaching for this milk makeup blur stick you guys have seen this everywhere it looks just like this it's one shade I'm kind of nervous to get this because when it first came out I was really really interested in it because I kept seeing really positive reviews and then the longer that I waited to get it more people were saying how they don't like it how it balls up on the skin how it just doesn't provide what they were looking for for and the reason I got this was because it was supposed to blur out my pores and just kind of create a smooth canvas on my skin thankfully that's what it did for me I've used this under like cream foundations I've used this under liquid foundations I've used this under my stick foundations and with each foundation it doesn't fall up it doesn't like fall off crust off and like I said I do have drier areas like around my nose it's a little bit dry or like right here by my eyebrow tends to be a little bit dry and I have a little bit of dry skin there and it doesn't emphasize that it doesn't make it look scaly or gross it just really does smooth things out for me and another thing I love about this is that it does look like a beige color Color here but when you apply it on your skin it's not like you get any color all you get is just like blurred out effect so even when I'm not wearing makeup I love just running this all over my face to kind of smooth everything out or to kind of hide some of the pores that I have going on because I tend to have large pores around here and this really does help to blur them out so I really like this product I really think this is a great product if like me you work full-time during the week you're always on the go and sometimes you don't want to wear makeup but you want it to look a little bit more flawless or put together this will really help getting you there and I have used this in conjunction with other primers as well and like I said it doesn't ball up it doesn't like look cakey or it's not too much on my skin and I do have more combo skin so two new makeup tools for this past month that I've been loving the first one is from eco tools I'm pretty sure I have not talked about this and I'm so sorry that this looks disgusting but I've used it non-stop since I got it and I really really love it you've heard tons of people rave about this one I'm sure but the hype is real with this product it's just really really good so it's a really squishy sponge when you get it wet it grows a little bit bigger kind of just like the beauty blender it's still really squishy still really nice one side is like a large flat side it's rounded at the bottom like the beauty blender and then you get another little flat side here and I think that's super helpful you get multiple sides I know the Real Techniques complexion sponge also gives you multiple sides but something about that pointy side and then a slanted side without being round just kind of doesn't really work for me anymore this one is amazing because I can just apply my foundation with this rounded side at the bottom and it blends it out flawlessly seamlessly no streaks or anything like that with this large side I use to like clean up my contour or if I really want to bake and pat it underneath the eye area and stuff otherwise I can use this side too to apply my foundation and then this side the smaller uh, slant side is usually what I use for like setting my under eye area blending out concealer it also has this flat side here which is great for like nose contouring and stuff or if you really want to get a nice and precise in there if you've already like smoked out your lower lash line so you can do so much with this 
this and I believe that you can get this as a single or you can get it as a set. And then the other makeup tool is from Luxie Beauty. This is the Precision Foundation Brush. It looks just like this. Again, it's dirty because I used it today. It is supposed to be used for foundation, but I use this to set my under eye area and I've been absolutely loving it. The bristles on here are very, very soft and I like soft bristles usually when I'm working in my under eye area because it's very dry and it's a very sensitive area. You don't want to be tugging. And this works great for baking and to just set your under eye area or your face because they're really soft brushes and they're very thin up here at the top it just works perfectly to set and then you can fit nicely right here or like on your chin and stuff you can use this for foundation I haven't used that before but the shape of it would be good just to apply it on so it's a multi-use product Luxie isn't too ridiculously expensive it's like right on there with like the Sigma range so I've really been loving this brush and I really think it's good for multiple things sticking with face there are two bronzers I want to talk to you guys about the first one is actually a stick bronzer this is from Jordana. This is a Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick. And I actually purchased this a while ago, like in my drugstore haul, and I didn't really use it as much until recently, but I absolutely love this. Like I was saying, parameters around my face have been particularly dry lately, and I find that if I go in with powder and powder and powder, it really does look, in certain areas, just a little bit dry or a little bit cakey and I just don't like the way it kind of emphasizes that dry skin. I'm reaching more for like cream products so instead of going in with like a powder bronzer I just use this. It's a really nice shade and when it blends out it blends out just a little bit lighter than this. It's not too orangey and it's not too like ashy tone so it's really really creamy. It blends out really nicely. It's a good amount of pigmentation. It's not going to be like bam you're not going to be able to blend it out and it's just going to stay there. It blends out really well and it doesn't emphasize any of those dry patches that I have around my face. So I use it like in this area and then I'll use it on like my forehead and stuff So I really have been liking this and I think it was like $3.99 you're looking for a good contouring stick or a good bronzing stick This is definitely a good one and then in conjunction with that or when I'm not wearing that stick I will use this product. This is from the estate edit and this is the barest bronzer This is an 01 light medium. They do have a darker one, but that one's way too dark for me I did pick this up in my CCO haul I've been using it for a couple of weeks and I really love it It does have like a more shimmery kind of um, glow right there, but it's doesn't really emphasize texture or anything like that. I usually just stick to this area where it's just a bronzer. It's a nice shade of bronzer. It's a very smooth formula and it actually looks really light when um, I swatch it and apply it on. So it's right there. It actually looks really light, but on the face, obviously, it gives a good amount of pigmentation. It's a little bit warm, but it's not too warm. So I use these two together to create my contour and then to bronze everything out. Or I'll go over um, this product with the Estee Edit bronzer. That's what I'm wearing actually today, both of them today. And I like it. It gives me a nice warmth to the skin, but it's not overly warm. It's not orangey. It's not red or anything like that. And it's not too ashy tone. It's a really smooth formula. It's very soft and silky. It blends nicely, blends out nicely, and is very buildable. And you do get a lot of product. I think you get um, 0.56 ounces. So it's a really good amount of product. Packaging is very nice too, and you get a mirror. I do think right now... Uh, the Estee Edit is on sale at Sephora, actually. I think I saw this on sale. If you're interested in this or if you're interested in getting a new bronzer, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to pick this up. This is the BH Cosmetics and Carly Bible Palette. This is the Deluxe Palette, and that is what it looks like. First of all, I just gotta say I love Carly Bible. I do have the other palette, and I really like it. So at first, I wasn't planning on getting this one, but then I heard people rave about it. It does come with shades that are not included in the original one, and I just kind of wanted to support her, so I picked it up, but I was kind of blown away how good this palette is. I've created tons of look with this. I've created like darker kind of more uh, berry tone and mauve looks. You can create like neutral and just like easygoing kind of looks. You can do more darker looks. You get pops of color here. And then the highlighters are absolutely amazing. The formula of this is really, really good. You get a good amount of color variance with this one. You get a good amount of color payoff too. They're very pigmented. They sit nicely on the skin and they don't emphasize texture, which is one of the things I hesitate about getting like more drugstore highlighters. Sometimes the formula is very smooth, but it will emphasize texture and these don't. And I just, I really like it. I think for $19 I think is the price of it. It's a really good deal. Carly really did a really amazing job. I like the versatility in this product and I just like Carly Bible and everything she stands for so definitely had to support my girl. I have also been using these a lot this past month. These are from Maybelline. They are the new Maybelline Expert Wear Eyeshadows 
This one is more of a goldish beige one. This is called the Glow Down. This one is more of like a rose gold nudie shade and this is called Nude Glow. And I've never really been big on Maybelline eyeshadows, especially their single eyeshadows, just because either they gave good pigmentation but they didn't blend out nicely or last on the eye or they didn't really give off good pigmentation. These, I feel, are kind of the complete opposite. They're definitely a lot better than the original ones that they had. You get a good amount of pigmentation there. They have a lot of brand new shades, which is what I really like. Look at that right there. And the wear power on these is a lot nicer. You can definitely tell what the colors are. They stay that color for a lot longer on the eye and they don't crease up as bad as their other eyeshadows used to crease up on the eye. I think these retail for $3.99 each or $4.99 each are getting a good product for the price. And I'm actually wearing a nude glow on my lids right now. I think these are one of the better pressed single eyeshadows that are on the drugstore market at the moment. And then the last two products I have to talk to you guys about are lip products. This first one is a lip liner. This I also got in my BoxyCharm, but I got it last month. This is from Real Her Makeup, and this is the Real Her Expert Advice Lip Liner. And this is in the shade I Am Loved, and I really love this shade. It's a very smooth consistency. You can see that right there. It's very pigmented, very opaque. This one is like a dark mauve tone, almost like a berry tone, and it lasts a really long time on the lips. It's very smooth. It doesn't tug at your lips or anything like that. So I've really been liking this one, and I've been wearing this one in conjunction with this last product, and I've been using this last product by itself as well. This is from Reina Rebelde. You guys heard me talk about that makeup brand in my PR unboxing. This is their Lip Brilliance, and this this is in the shade Enchufada, and you get a nice doe foot applicator, and I just love this product. It's like a lip gloss, it's like a metallic lip gloss, but it's such a beautiful shade. It's like a rose gold with a little bit of nude and a little bit of beige. I've been using these together. I actually have a picture on Instagram, and in that picture, everybody was asking me what was on my lips, and I'm like, it's both of these together. So it's both of them mixed together. I'll just line my lips with the Real Her, and then I'll use the Lip Brilliance on top. But what I love about this Lip Brilliance product is that it's not sticky at all. Sometimes metallic lips are more like lip glosses and they're very sticky or tacky on the lips. This one is not, but it does last a very long time on the lips. And most importantly, it's not an obnoxious metallic. So I could use this every single day. I've used this just by itself on the lips and it just makes your lips look juicy or glowy, but it doesn't make them look metallic. It doesn't make them look reflective or like you're wearing mirrors. So even though I like that for like my highlighter, my face highlighter, I don't really like that on my lips. This one just gives me that. It gives a nice shine to the lips. It makes your lips look healthy, juicy, bigger if you just add it like in the middle. But like I said, it's not an obnoxious metallic kind of lipstick. And I actually do have a coupon code for Reina Rebelde. They gave me one when they sent over some PR. So if you guys are interested in that or checking out their brand, I will have that coupon code linked down below for you guys, as well as their website and this specific product. But that is it for my favorite for this month. I told you we had a lot of things to get through, so if you guys made it to the end of this video, bravo to you. Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff is going to be linked down below for you guys, as well as coupon codes to help you save some money. Don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you guys are notified when I post new videos. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel if you guys like my videos or if you guys just like me in general, because at 2k, once we hit 2,000 subscribers, which is really, really soon, I'm gonna have a ginormous, ginormous giveaway. Like, I'm talking some hella good stuff and you guys want to be a part of this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.